welcome to my workshop what I'm going to attempt to do today is remove the top of this 1930 Model A I'm going to chop it 5 inches I've worked out that probably 5 inches is my best bet I can always take out another inch if required but I think with the headroom and the seating 5 inches is adequate I've marked it out already with masking tape which will give me a clear cutting line I've removed all the windows and glass and relative items and also I've braced across the B post just to sturdy up the, uh, the frame when I remove the top to remove the roof I will be using my 5 inch angle grinder with a thin cutting disc also axle for those awkward places and don't forget safety equipment goggles gloves essential your eyes are valuable so your fingers as you'll notice I have masked up the, the cutting line in tape but on the A post here I'm slightly lower than the rear on the B post this is so I can maintain the hinge when I refit the roof okay that's the tops of the rear cab cut as you can see those fine discs these cutting discs real fine ones for stainless steel make a very nice clean cut all the better for later on when we've got to get these welded back together a nice fine clean cut just take your time take it steady no rush there we go nice clean cut alright now I've just got to go through I've done the B post now I've just got to do the A posts and the doors I should do the doors on so I'll get them in line and then remove the tops of the doors after okay all cut through now A posts B posts all cut through cut the door through in position and we'll cut the rest off in position as well leave the, leave the bottom hinges no, no good disturbing bottom hinges damaging everything so she's all cut through all the rear inside okay. all ready to be come off okay well there we go one roof off a little bit of weight in that took a bit of lifting off but that's the roof off so now what we've got to do is remove the five inches a post b post and round the rear here so we'll just cut them off to the masking line again exactly the same take the five inches out and then hopefully drop the lid back on and have a look
shelf covers. Okay. Yeah. inches out of it. Don't throw this piece away. Good metal and maybe needed, maybe required. What I'm going to intend to do is cut this in half and use it as a patch in the back. Good strong metal, patch it in the back, double thickness. Okay, okay that's the uh, five inches trimmed off now all round back end B posts A posts and obviously the doors at the same time what I'm going to do now is just change the disc on the angle grinder and put a soft sanding pad on a fine one and just trim and square up the tops of these cuts. It's not a lot. By keeping to the tape and taking it nice and steady you can get quite a decent finish. But just with a soft pad just give it a tidy up. Perhaps even might get the file out. Just just tidy it up, make sure the joint comes together nicely then we'll offer the top up. Looking good so far? Okay, roof's on. I'm just starting to tack it up. Bit at a time, inch stitching. Keep the, try and keep the seams together. I've started from the back seams. Just keep those two seams together. And just a stitch. Little stitches just to hold it. I haven't got round to this stitching this side yet. Just starting to line up. May have to do a bit of slight bit of cutting just to relieve it to bring the uh, profiles together. Cut the tacks just to hold it that side. Just starting on this side, inch tacks, just to hold it for now. You can always cut them off if there's a mistake or a problem. There we go. Fronts are not they're lined up, but they've got a bit of feckling to do to give them. But I'll, I'll just concentrate on the back end first. This side now is spot welded together. Here I've had to put three relief cuts vertically just to bring these two profiles together. Just to make it flow in. Just to bring those together. Just spotted round here. What I'm going to do now is seam all this together one continuous weld just do a little bit at a time because of the heat distortion and come back onto it this side as you can see I fully seamed together a complete run across and just dressed up a bit a little bit of work still there to finish up and a little but that side's all nicely stitched and welded together the front A post I've also welded up 
and ground down just on the front for now I've got to get on, on the inside and weld all the inside up to make it solid Okay, all the welding now finished up on the rear quarters, ground down and sanded off, that's how I'm going to leave it now and I'll let that just naturally rust up to match the look of the rest of the vehicle. That's the near side done and working right round, that's the off side done. These are not come bad back together too bad. I should just leave it like that now. That's the effect I want. Let that rust through. Let's give it that uh, back to the ratty look. Next thing now, we must move on to the B posts. A posts I've just tacked up on the outside. Now I'm going to move on to the B post and door tops last. Then once the B posts are done, we can remove that piece of bracing and get ourselves inside and just do any little bits up that need finishing just to strengthen it up on the on the back there. There we have the B post now all, all welded up, all in line. Now this section, just down here, I had to cut and just knock back in because I should be running up and down windows in this back part. But if uh, 
if you're just having fixed windows it's not too important but it's nice to get it nice so uh, that's the B post done just a note as well while we're on glass in your dials while you're grinding and welding keep them covered up it'll stick to your nice new dials and you'll have all bits of metal stuck to your glass same with any other glass that you got in the car if you're leaving the windscreen in for any type of welding get it covered because grind and weld will stick to glass and knacker it all up for you and then you've got to spend more money there we have the uh, B post welded up all round don't skimp on the inside the outside might look nice make sure you do the inside as well that's a strength part of the vehicle same again for the A post there it is all welded up that's finished now all welded through and round make sure you get all the way around not just the outside it's not cosmetic that's a strength point there we go all that remains on this side now is to weld the door top on so we're nearly there so that's this side all fully welded up now we've got to tackle this side A post, B post now it's time to tackle the door tops now you can see the benefit of doing them on don't try and do them off you really need to get it lined up and as you can see these this side is pretty much in line a little bit of adjustment here a little bit of adjustment there I'll pull that in nicely I put the jack under the door because obviously the top hinge loose the door will drop slightly so I've just, just gently jack the bottom of the door up bring her in line but just slightly over so what you've got to remember is once the weight's back on it'll drop down just that little bit they never were perfect but you can certainly have a a good try again it's somewhere near you can see not very far off also a little thing I've done before I start putting it together just inside I'll put a relief cut the backs up the back this is so I can get the channels to come square for the window rubbers last thing you want is a kink in the window rubber and the window binds as it comes up and down so that one's ready to start the other window I've completed so you can see the finished product this side is done there we go nicely lined up reasonable gaps I'm quite pleased with them and the window channels nice and squarely up you'll get a bit, a little bit of difference obviously there we go nice and solid fixed up they come together reasonable lines look and that's by using a jack underneath once the pressure's down hinges all fixed up a nice square door so we'll make a start on this side now same as with everything else a couple of tacks get it lined up start from this part on the B post get that lined up we can always adjust from the hinge to get this to line up there's not a lot at all as you can see in this it's come together quite nice 
So let's start welding. They have the door tops welded up now. That door tops finished all round. Now I'm not going to. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to paint this vehicle. I'm going to just leave it in its natural patina. So I'll try to keep these to a minimum. But obviously, you're going to have scarring of some nature. But when that's rusted off again, blend it in a bit. That'll be sweet. Well, basically, it. That's it as far as the uh, main body's concerned. Really all I've got left to do now as regards any welding or cutting, I've got to do the front screen. Obviously it's got a metal frame, so I've got to remove the frame from around the glass. And cut the five inches out of the frame, weld the frame up, pop the glass back in, and then fit it all out. The windows, side windows, they're okay because they just don't wind up so far going to be the same with the back one because I'm having wind up wind up and down windows in the rear so I can have the back open just remains for me to get the original piece of glass cut down five inches off it and reshaped um, that shouldn't be too bad all the glass in this vehicle is, is laminated so there we have it One 1930 Model A sedan with a 5 inch roof chop.